Well, that's right. As fast food workers' wages have gone up here in the Golden State, so have those fast food prices. And while In-N-Out originally said that their prices would not be going up that much out of an obligation to their customers, they are still seeing an increase. Double, double. San Diegan's Alada Levine usually heads to In-N-Out for her son. And he loves the animal style burger. So today I decided I'm tired and I didn't want to cook, so I'm going to try it. But she and other customers will have to dig a little deeper for that double-double combo, which now runs over $10. Back in 2020, that same combo went for about $7.85. I'm not surprised. Jonathan Isaacs comes to In-N-Out because it's his four-year-old daughter Mia's favorite restaurant. With inflation and everything that I am reading about, I know prices are going up and they need to be able to pay for their workers. So. It's a, a part of life. In a statement, In-N-Out said on April 1st, we raised prices in California restaurants to accompany a raise given to the associates at those locations. The starting location at our California stores is $22 to $23 per hour, and the price of a double-double French fries and drink increased by 25 to 50 cents, depending on location. This comes as a new state law requiring fast food chains to pay workers at least $20 an hour kicked in. in and out Starting pay outpaces its competitors. Well, it'd be better for the employees. For eight-year-old Madeline Hubbard, the price hike doesn't really matter. I mean, I don't really pay for it. And while her parents may mind more, she's more focused on the milkshakes and cheese fries. I think that the food is actually really good. In the wake of this new fast food wage law, other chains like McDonald's and Chipotle have also raised prices. Pizza Hut's responded by laying off its delivery drivers, and San Diego-based Rubio's has shut down 48 of its restaurants statewide. But higher costs don't seem to mean fewer customers, at least for Jonathan Isaacs. It's all out of my control, so I can't, uh, we're still going to come here. It's her favorite place to go, so it's about making good memories for her. Richard Allen, CBS 8.